village of Baytown Wharf, shop, dine, and play. Let's do it. All right, so in this video, what we're gonna do is rank all the restaurants we eat at. And a three means we're never coming back to that restaurant. Two means it's a maybe, we might come back. Number one, we're coming back because it's just good. All so right, our so first restaurant, the Crazy Lobster. That's where we're headed. Oh, here we are. Poppy's, the Crazy Lobster, just in Florida. So we got in here, overpriced. Yeah, you know it is, that's okay. As part of the experience here at Sand Destiny, you having fun so far? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're excited. We got some uh, gator bites coming. We got some hush puppies. We got some fish and some coconut shrimp. It's going to be good. You excited, Mama? It's going to be good. All right, we'll see you when the food gets out. We got our gator bites here. It looks like sausage. It looks like sausage, sausage pieces. It looks like red sausage. <laughs> That's got to be gator sausage. And then coconut shrimp. And some hush puppies. JT, tell us about the gator. It tastes like sausage. It tastes like sausage? Did you try some of the sauce with it? Let's try that. Beth, you go gotta ahead. try the sauce. It's kind of spicy. It tastes like sausage. <laughs> tastes like sausage? Let's see. It's a little drier than sausage. Pretty good. Needs a little spice to it. But it just tastes like sausage, yeah. It's good. Ooh, it's just, I figured it would be more gatory. <laughs> gatory? <laughs> more chicken like. More chicken like. Dark meat. Little hush puppy with the same sauce here. Let's try a hush puppy. I thought the gator bites would look more like. Hush puppy. Um, hush puppies. We're well, good. You love sausage, so eat them up. They have all you want. All right. Here's our appetizers. Here comes the main course. Give me it. Ooh, what do you think, JT? Well, this was my main, main course. Well, this will be your meal? Okay. I think, I think spicy. We want spicier. All right, just got the rest of it. This oh, is ketchup. my meal here. I don't even remember what I ordered. <laughs> you may order fish and grits. Fish and grits. I'm gonna try the grits. That does not look like fish and grits. This looks like with gator bites. Gator bites and grits. <laughs> no, it had andouille sausage. Oh, I see it. So it's like, all right, it's like an andouille sausage on top. And then here's the fish. The grits are good. The catfish and the cheese grits. Let me try it real quick. I saw shrimp and grits. That's a little different. It's all right. All right, I'm gonna stir it up, eat it. JT got it. the fish. How's your fish? Good. Looks like it's a little hot. Is it hot? Yes. <laughs> Ketchup. Please. Okay, we're gonna sit here and eat this. Here. It's good. All right, so JT is gonna start us off. And JT, what do you think about the crazy lobster? I think one. You're definitely gonna come back. Okay, what was so good that you liked? The catfish. Okay, that's there you go. Mama, what do you think? Three. A uh, three, you're not coming back. No. I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't special. I got you, all right. And finally, I'm also a three. The environment is actually pretty nice. The atmosphere is pretty nice. Got a big dock outside. Food leaves a lot to be, to be desired. Maybe it specializes in lobster. We didn't get any of that. But there you go. We're not coming back. What y'all think? I want to come back. <laughs> we'll, catfish right. we'll see you at the next restaurant. We want to tell everybody. Now it to marshmallows. <laughs> All right, we have made it to Slick Lips Seafood and Oyster House. All right, we're hoping this is gonna be a really good one. And here in the wharf, it's gonna be great. So we're sitting down, took an hour and 45 minutes to sit down. And uh, we're hoping this is gonna be good. Okay, let's get into these menus and see what it's all about. All right, check out the menu. Oysters, half shell, award-winning seafood gumbo, main dishes, all types of things. Snapper, grouper, tuna, chicken, pork chops, all types of things. You don't order pork chops when you come to a seafood restaurant. <laughs> All types of starters. Okay, let's get into this, figure out what we want to get. JT, 
Pop the camera. Tell, tell the camera what, what just happened over we, at Slick Lips. We, we spilled our water while the guy who was serving the water, he just spilled it. <laughs> and it made our table leak with water. Yeah, he came up with dumb water all over Mama. And me. And you. Our table everywhere. Maybe we'll get a free dessert. Maybe we'll get a free dessert, you think? You think we'll get a free dessert? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But I bet I know it'll be wrong. <laughs> all right, we put our order in. It'll be here in a little bit. It's all about the food. It better be good. We'll see. <laughs> all right, so we just got part of our order. Some french fries or just JT's shrimp. And we knew the order would be messed up. We just knew it, and it was messed up. They brought out Mama's wrong shrimp. It'll be okay. We'll get it right. Everybody will be happy. <laughs> So now we got our gumbo here, supposed to be award-winning, and some oyster bay something. I forgot the name of it. And Mama got her barbecue shrimp. About to eat it all up, and then we will tell you about it. I got some half an, or a, a dozen oysters coming. It's gonna be good. All right, let's do this. All right, so let's eat some of our food. Beth, tell us about the shrimp. Is it good? It's very good. So Beth's got some barbecue shrimp and some cheese grits all mixed together. We good? Yeah. All right. One, two, or three. Oh, you just shot. We got a little barbecue shrimp on the camera. I hope yeah, it's, yeah. I know. That's It'll be all right. Let's try the award-winning seafood gumbo. Let's see. That's pretty good. Good roux. Rice is a little tough, but oh, that's it's good roux. It's good. It's like you added the rice. Later. That's good. Good tea. Try it. Tell us what you think about the gumbo. I like my shrimp. Yeah, you like your shrimp. So JT's got some his shrimp there. Now I'm going to try this. Let's get a good look at that. Oyster, bay something on toast. All types of good things. I really don't know. Let's try this out. All right, try it. Check it out. My oh, bad, it's kind of light. You know that toast. Mm. I'm bad. Alright. We're going to eat it up. You have to try the sausage with the shrimp. Where's the sausage? Right here. Oh, the gumbo with the shrimp? Okay. It's gumbo, shrimp, a little fried popcorn shrimp. Uh oh, fell in there. That's not the type of shrimp I'm talking about. Where the shrimp are you talking about? There's shrimp already in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've had it all together. I think it's really good. It's tough. Let's eat. All right. We'll see you when you're done. Talk with food in his mouth. That's a good boy. Been raised well by his mama. I think this is delicious. All right, check it out. That's what I'm talking about. So that's what I've learned on my little oyster bay here. Take the oyster off of there. Just chomp it down. Try it with the bread. And then take the toast. Dip them uh, the root of the gumbo. Yeah. Also, Daddy. Yeah. The last oyster. Try it with the bread. All right. Last oyster, anybody want it? Try it with the bread. Oh, I've had it with the bread. It kind of overwhelms it a little bit. I like it better without that. Right, here we go. 
We just about finished all our food and uh, got my got my dozen raw oysters. I've never had my, my raw oysters at the end. <laughs> this will be like dessert. What do you think? <laughs> kind of tiny, but that was pretty big right there. They don't look too bad. All right, first oysters of the year. Let's see what they're like. Have some slick, slick lip oysters here. To the first one right. Four, well, got a little bitty four. Take this. It's not bad looking oyster. Put it on there. Small amount of horseradish. All right on that. that is I really need to squeeze a little lemon on it. What do you think, JT? Good, and that is the smallest pork I have ever seen. Here we go. Like Just take one straight out of the shell. We'll take one right out of the shell. Yes. Nothing on it. Here we go. Pretty good. Yeah. This is like a knife. Show me your face, mama. <laughs> Come on, you know you want one. Very good. Good for you. Yeah, so we eat these up. Can I get one for you? All right, so what I want to do while we're I'm eating these up, let's talk about our experience here. Here, Daddy. <laughs> oh, you got one for me? Compared to everything we've eaten, the food is number one. Best food so far. Good grief. Service has been kind of a little strange. Maybe, I, I don't know. Stuff happens. Maybe. Anyways, I'm gonna finish these up. We'll get back with you. And we'll tell you what this place is worth. All right, JC, we're down to our last two oysters. Sure you don't want one? No. About to put these two together. This is the smallest oyster in the world right here, so. Put them on there. Come here, oyster. Come here. Get out of that shell. Come on home to daddy. There we go. Little karate. Already got a little horseradish on there. Horseradish. Last one. Last chance. Come on, eat it with me. All right. Leaving the slick lips. Hey, it's 4th of July out here. They got the uh, fireworks going. Yeah. Look at there. That's a bang, all right. Woo, glad we got some of that. Woo, that was pretty cool. All right. I'm going to get back with you on your slick lips for a second. Oh, what would you think about that? Okay, let's go find a place and talk about Slick Lips. Oh, we just left Slick Lips. Yes, that was crazy. That was crazy. Oh, God. How crazy was that, JT? No. So we started off, we got we got water dumped all on us, all over the place. It like scared us to death. It was, it was, I mean, it was, you could tell he was embarrassed for doing it. Then he took his or order and we could tell he was trying to maybe remember. show off a little bit and he tried to remember it all. And he messed up, was it three things? He didn't bring my oysters, he didn't bring the cheese grits, he brought the wrong type of shrimp. <laughs> so it was just a disaster, the service. He was awkward, it was it was not good. And uh, he might have been a new person there. <laughs> I think it was his first day? Yes. <laughs> Anyways, all right, y'all go through, y'all rank it, one, two, or three. All right, what do you think, Mama? The food was a one when it came out correctly. But I would say a two because I don't want to fight the crowd or the service again. All so right. It's a maybe. So 
Was it as good as you thought? I mean, was it really that good? Compared to what we've eaten so far, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not like the best food ever, no. but it's it's good. I mean, it's very good, adequate food. What would you think, JT? One. Why is it a one? Because of the food, it's so good. And the fried shrimp. Yeah, your shrimp was good. That was very good. What about the gumbo? I saw the gumbo. Yeah, was that a, a, was a gumbo with one? Yes. You get it again? Yes. Yes, you did eat some of it. Okay, I'll tell you mine in a minute. So, Beth and JT, they left at a fireworks that were going off outside, so they took off. So, it's one of these situations where you pay at your table. So, the waitress you just had is holding the credit card machine, helping you push through the buttons, helping you with your tip and all. Well, the tip was automatically 18% of the check. Worst service I've ever had, first experience I've had all of 2022, that's what I'd say. I wasn't planning on leaving any tip at all. And it, it was automatically there. It started going through as if I was giving him a $13 tip on a $60 meal. It went through, they couldn't figure out how to, how to take it off. I was like, you've got to take this off. He ended up handing me cash out of his wallet to get this done. I got $13 in cash in my wallet. <laughs> Is that not funny? He was so nervous. I hated it for him, but he's you gotta learn from that experience. Not let it drag you down. Anyway, so it's a I mean it's a one and a half to me. It's a two. Foo was I mean it was so good. The best we've had in the the wharf, but it's not it's not the best food at all down here on the water. I know it's not. It's gotta be better food down here. Gotta be better oysters. Gotta, gotta be better shrimp. If that's the best, we're and in trouble. And a better restaurant with a better waitress. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yes. All right. So it's fun being in here. This is a tourist trap. It draws you in, does it not? It draws you in to all this magic in here. Anyways, come enjoy the war. Go eat somewhere else. <laughs> what do you want to say, JT? <laughs> Yeah, and we'll see you at the next restaurant. All right, we're gonna check out Charlie's Cafe here at the wharf and see what it's all about. It's a place to get a snack. Yeah. Charlie's Cafe's chocolate with sprinkle ice cream what do you think good uh, you're pretty hungry too aren't you that's a good place to stop and just get a little snack a little pricey but it's worth it out here got me a little yogurt parfait nothing spectacular but yeah no it's gonna get it done mama's getting her a coffee what do you think mama good coffee <coughs> oh we got a coffee. It's a little snack to tide us over until dinner time. Maybe we'll have something special. Yeah, let's eat it up. Charlie's Cafe, what do you think? Yeah, oh, service leaves something to desire, but <laughs> it'll be all right. Coffee good? <laughs> all right, come to the wharf to Charlie's Cafe. <laughs> cafe, one, two, or three, Mama. What you think? One, three. She's not coming back. Why not? Not for coffee. Not for coffee yet. Coffee was kind of overrated there. I had a sip. It was real bitter. JT, one, two, three. One. Got a three and a one. You want to come back like every day, every hour. Why? Because of the ice cream. It's so good. <laughs> it's hard to mess up ice cream, huh? <laughs> um, I'm going to give it a two just because it's convenient. And it was quick. It's a great place for a snack. But meals, you can have that. It's kind of over overpriced, but... So I gave it a two, you gave it a one. So that's a total of a six. We got a six at this place, total. I don't know what that says, but anyways, we'll see you at the next restaurant. There's Charlie's Cafe. All right, welcome to Marina Bar and Grill. Let's go check it out. This is right outside the wharf and right next to all the, the boats and all. Pretty nice looking place. Hello, parrot. Hey, you know, parrot. You see yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right. No, fun. Yeah, so you can catch fish here, and then they'll uh, cook it for you. Kind of cool. 
So Marina Bar and Grill looks like a great place if you want some fried food. It's what the best they have. They got a couple of salads, that's about it. So we're gonna get some chips and salsa and some queso. Have uh, some water to drink, and then we're gonna take off and we're gonna go somewhere else. Yeah, so there you go. Great environment, not the best choices of different meals here. They got a few little things that might be interesting, but it's all fried. We're interested in something else tonight. Anyways, there's Marina Bar and Grill. Marina Bar and Grill, great environment. But all we got was some chips and sauce, so we're gonna go somewhere else and get some real food because we got appetizers. Yeah, so let's right there. I, I don't know if you want to rank it or not. We'll have to eat here for real, but it's just a pretty scenery. Yep. We'll give it a we'll give, give it a two. two yeah, it's gotta be a two. I'll get a one. <laughs> JT got it a one, so there you go. Every Very time good. I get a one. <laughs> All right, we will see you at dinner. All right, last dinner spot of the trip. We're going to the surf hut, seafood, ribs, oysters. We're hoping this is gonna be good. It's gonna be right on the beach. I'll show you that when we get on the other side. This is gonna be good. Welcome to the surf hut. Let's check out the menu real fast. Oh, sure. Half chef, all types of good things. Yeah, let's just get in there. Wind is blowing like crazy in here. We like it. Outside. Right on the beach, come outside. Oh, yeah. Cool place. Look at the wind. The wind is humongous out here. Blowing hard, creates a few swells. Let <laughs> y'all listen to that for a minute. Chow down. I want some good food. Yeah, cornhole is awesome. Yeah, check out the menu. It's a surfboard. Living the hut life. Let's check it out. Okay, all types of stuff in here. I'm going to pick something out. I'll let you know about it when I get it. Yeah. The surf has the coolest menu ever because look what you can do. You can Use little sticky things to make things, and it comes with a menu, and it shows you some things you can make. Yeah, you gotta like it here, but the kids' menu is even cool. The food better be good, right, JT? Yes. All right, here's our appetizer. Peeling each shrimp coming out. Looks good. Smells good. Yeah, let's eat them up. Mama doesn't like them because they're cold. They're cold. <laughs> this is where supposed to be. The cold ones have more flavors. So let's eat them up and see what they're all about. Uh, put a little lemon on it. Good. What do you think, JT? All good? Yes. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Let's see if it pops out. There you go. You ready for it? That does not look like a shrimp. It is a big old shrimp, isn't it? Good? Carol, are you too? Tell the care if it's good or not. It's not good, it's yummy. <laughs> Eat it up, buddy. That's even better. Oh, that's really good. Though. Put lemon on that it. That is a great flavor. A oh, great flavor, y'all. Oh yeah, I'll get you into it. Yeah, we are hungry, but this is really good. Flavored very well. It's not just cooked. Yeah, flavor all over it. Get it. This will show you why cold shrimp is good. Tell me if I'm wrong. Pop it in your mouth. Tell me if I'm wrong. Pop it in there. It's not shrimp unless you have, it's warm and you have butter. 
Huh? Huh? It's really good. I have you, Mr. Shrimp. Where's yeah. his head? Chop it off. Yeah, chop it off. Somebody wants to see the, the eyes of the animal you're about to eat. Yeah. How do you peel this? You grab oh, the I feet. Got it. Grab the feet and pull them off to the side. All right, we just got the rest of our food. Got a shrimp left. Got my mahi mahi. Not a huge portion, but plenty. Cold slaw, French fries. What do you have here? Oh, is that shrimp and grits? That looks fabulous. Look at that stuff. That looks good. Yeah. Is that Look at this tiny yeah, grape. Look at this tiny grape. I see the tiny grape, great, but look at your fried shrimp. Look at that. More shrimp. Really hot. All right, we're going to dig into this. I bet it's going to be good. All right, mahi mahi time. Let's try the mahi mahi. Look at that sandwich. It's pretty good. Nice home. That's good. Feeling too. Very feeling. How's the shrimp, JT? How's How about the mahi mahi? You want to try that for everybody? No. Alright, we're going to eat up. See how this goes. Let's try it. Good. Cold slaw. Some people live for cold slaw. Let's see what this is like. Yep. Good stuff. It's going good so far. Hey, this is our last restaurant in this video, so let's get everybody's ranking. JT, what do you think? Is this one. a one? That's a oh, tell us why it's a one. Because of the shrimp, it's so good. It's yeah. dry. Yes. It was have stuff, you should get the fruit because there should be a tiny grape in it. So what shrimp do you like better? The fried shrimp, which is your popcorn shrimp, or the peeled shrimp? We had to peel it out. It was cold. I like both of it. They were good, were they? Really good. Okay. Mama? Number one. We'll come out. Yeah, this stuff is good. You can tell. There's a little bit left, but it won't be there after I get a hold of it. <laughs> Yeah, this is the one, y'all. This is the best place we've been to. I'm sure there's a lot of other places in the San Destin, Destin area to eat. But this place was really good. Thank y'all for watching. If you like this stuff, like and subscribe. Any comments or anything like that, let us know. Put them on the bottom. Thanks for watching. What do you want to say, JT? The plate is a frisbee. Oh, yeah. Check it out. So we got through eating, and his plate is a frisbee. That is so cool. I can't play. Yeah, good stuff. All right, thanks for watching. Adventure!